Well, Basel, all right? the central banks uh, from all of the leading countries around the world meet periodically at Basel and they address issues that are common to them all. Now, in recent history, one of the issues that they've been uh, concentrated on is how much capital you need in terms, uh, in, in connection with the types of lending businesses that you've been in. If you're doing risky loans, you should have more capital and they've concentrated on that. Uh, partly to make sure that we didn't end up with a world where one jurisdiction was far a little more lenient than others and you'd have a flood of people doing bad things, when I say bad things, maybe imprudent things, over leveraging themselves and what have you. So they've concentrated on, on loans up to this particular point. But within the last several years, they've started to focus on operational risk. And the theory runs something like this. If there are sizable operational risks being booked or potential to be booked in some of these organizations, should that organization not have more capital than someone who's got a clean back office processing venue? Now, they're easing into the application of this, this whole approach, but institutions that have a well-run back office will probably have either very little or, or perhaps even no additional requirement to put capital up or segregate capital for that particular purpose. But if they have a bad track record, they'll, they'll be required under Basel to put sizable amounts of capital up. That capital is part of a finite stream of capital that every bank, no matter how big they are, it's a finite stream. To the extent they have to put that capital up for operational risk, they can't use that capital to do the other things that they'd like to do. Now, I think an interesting question when it comes to Basel is the following one. Here in the United States, we have not been able to get from T3 to T1 settlement. And right away, that means we've got risk for any transactions that are in that three-day pipeline. I think it's possible that Basel may look at that particular situation and say, that anybody operating in a market where they have three days worth of traffic in their pipelines to settlement has the possibility of operational risk and therefore probably needs additional capitalization. If that happens and firms which right now don't get any charge for capital suddenly are getting a charge for capital simply because they're operating in the U.S. equity markets, we're going to see T1 happen overnight.